So for our new video tutorial, uh, ituturo ko naman kung papaano ang gagawin natin kung sakaling, for example, we conducted seminar and our uh, webinar or seminar duration is 3 days and our participants evaluated the sessions for day 1, day 2, and day 3 and we want to consolidate if all participants are attended or evaluated the evaluation before sending an e-certificates. So, para sa ating uh, tutorial na to, so gumawa ako ng sample uh, Google Forms for day 1, day 2, and day 3. So, ang una kong gagawin is uh, try natin maglagay ng responses. So, for example, lagay ko yung aking first name, email, address, and number of hours attended. So, halimbawa, uh, I inputted 8, then submit. Then, lagay tayo ng another response. So, for example, then 8. Then, another responses. So, lagay tayo ng another name. Then, uh, gamitin ko yung other email ko. Okay. So, for example, yun yung mga responses natin for day 1. So, nakita nyo na meron tayong trace responses. So, pamaya, pamalikan natin yan. So, maglagay muna tayo ng responses for day 2. So, for example, for day 2, so, nakapag-evaluate lang ay dalawa. Okay. Lagay natin is 8. Okay. Then, for day 3. So, lagay natin na uh, tatlo. Yung nakapag-evaluate ng ating day 3. Okay. So, kung makikita nyo dito, so we have uh, 3 responses for day 3. We have 2 responses. So, for day 2, so wala na, evalu na evaluate si Jericho. And then, for day 3, so we have 3 responses. So, ang sunod naman natin gawin is, for example, ang ginagawa namin is, for day 1, so we allotted time for evaluation and then kapag natapos na yung time namin or time na yun for evaluation on day 1 so dinidisable na namin yung accepting responses okay para at least uh, we evolve to identify na rin okay or malimit natin yung since this is an open link so anyone can submit responses so uh, kaya, kaya namin nilalagyan siya ng oras so, ang next step natin is gagawa natin siya ng uh, spreadsheet. So, sa case na to, okay, so since we have 3 days and we have 3 evaluation forms, so kailangan yung lahat ng responses na uh, nangyari ito sa tatlong Google uh, forms natin, kailangan mapunta siya into single spreadsheet. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, una, pumunta tayo sa day 1. Then, go to responses. Then, dito sa create spreadsheet, click nyo yan. And then, uh, create new spreadsheet. For example, webinar responses. Then, create. 
and then wait natin okay na mag uh, load yung pin rate natin by chip okay so for this po para hindi tayo ma malito so i-rename natin yung name ng sheet 2 day 1 then punta tayo sa day 2 then responses okay then click natin yung create spreadsheet then hindi na create new spreadsheet so, kailangan select existing spreadsheet then i-click natin tong select then hahanapin lang natin yung generate natin kaninang spreadsheet so dito ito yung ginaw, ginamit natin kanina so select natin yan okay then makikita nyo dito magkakameron tayo ng form responses to so ito yung v1 kanina so i-rename naman natin to into day 2 then close natin punta tayo sa day 3 then go to responses close natin yung accepting responses create spreadsheet select existing click select then wait na mag load yung mga choices natin then i-click natin yung previous spreadsheet then click select then i-close natin yung previous para mag load lang yung newly created natin na spreadsheet then for responses 3 Okay, rename natin siya into day 3. Okay, so complete na yung uh, sheet natin. So, i-arrange lang natin siya. Okay, from day 1 to day 3. So, kung makikita nyo, for day 1, so we have 3 responses. For day 2, we have uh, 2 responses. And then for day 3, uh, we have 3 responses. So, after the day 3 uh, evaluation, so before sending po, uh, ang practice po kasi natin is before sending po the EC3 certificate uh, after completing the evaluation for day 3. So, kinoconsolidate muna po natin lahat po ng responses. Kasi may mga participants po tayo na hindi nakatend ng day 2, hindi nakatend ng day 3. Okay, so para hindi naman po bias or hindi naman po uh, unfair dun sa mga participants na naka-attend sa tatlong araw po ng ating webinar. So, after po nito is kailangan natin uh, emerge po yung uh, lahat ng responses yung day 1, day 2, and day 3 into another sheet. So, ang gagamitin po natin is mag add po tayo ng ads on na power tool. So, ang power tool po is uh, may bayad but we can use power, power tool as trial. So, 30 days po siya. So, pwede po natin siya gamitin for the span of 30 days. So, paano po natin ma-add yung ating hands-on na power tool? So, dito po sa menu, click po natin yung hands-on, then get ads on Then, search po natin power tools then i-click po natin to then install continue okay so sign in so select lang po natin yung ating uh, email na ginamit then allow Okay, so kapag nag-install na po, click nyo lang po yung done. Then, close nyo lang po ito. Then, makikita nyo po na mag appear po yung power tools. Then, dito po sa power tools, so gamitin po natin is itong merge and combine. Then, itong combine sheets. So, hintay lang po natin. So, mag a po itong Combine Sheets Dialog. Then, click po natin itong Inverted Triangle. Select po natin Day 1, Day 2, Day 3. 
then click natin sa so, choose how to copy the data so lagyan po natin ng check yung consider table headers then in new sheet natin so sa place result to so instead po ng new spreadsheet new sheet po then combine then hintay lang po natin makomplete po yung process So, makikita po natin dito after completing the process po na lahat ng responses from day 1, day 2, and day 3 na sheet po ay makikita po natin dito. Then, once po okay na, i-close po natin. So, ito na po yun. So, makikita nyo po. Ayan. Ito yung lahat ng responses. So, ang sunod naman natin after natin makombine yung lahat ng responses from multiple sheets po is gagamit po tayo ng pivot, pivot tool or pivot table. So, yung pivot table pong yun is yun yung gagamitin natin para ma-identify natin kung ilan uh, total number of hours ang na-accumulate po ni Elizal Dupiol, ni Arnaes E. Sakin, ni Jerry Corrales. Okay? So, paano po natin yun gagawin? So, from data, So, click nyo po yung pivot table. Then, new sheet. Create. Okay. For rows, add full name. Okay. So, makikita nyo po dito yung full name ng mga participants. Then, column, email address. Okay, sorry po, uh, hindi siya column. So, we add uh, another rows, yung email address. Ayan. Then, eh, uncheck po natin yung show table. Ayan, para wala tayong table po nakikita. Then, for values po, add tayo yung number of hours. So, makikita nyo dito sa number of hours po. Ayan. So, makikita po natin dito na kung ilan yung accumulated uh, total number of hours na uh, meron yung mga participants po natin. Then, for sending a certificate after having this consolidated and con uh, combined Uh, sheets po. So, please wait po for our part 2 ng ating big tutorial. Salamat po!